Hi, I'm Conrad Fisher, and this is Routine Miracles. What more miraculous thing couldn't there be than to literally to bring the dead back to life? Hello, Mr. Harris. How are you? Good afternoon. Did you die last year? I was in bed about 1 o'clock, and I could not breathe. But I called my wife and told her I can't breathe, and I blocked out. Your heart stopped beating, sir. Isn't that the fact? Yes, it did. I know I was dead. You know, there's a lot of things in my book that we talk about that are great. But you literally had your heart stop and got essentially resurrected. And then what was the long-term treatment? You had an implantable defibrillator put in. Is that correct? Yes. Dr. Budzikowski. When it comes to defibrillators, it's it's nearly... um almost like a personal mission. My, my, my grandfather, who I never met, he died two years, three years before I was born. He had uh, multiple heart attacks. Every defibrillator I put in, I am thinking, maybe it's a chance for another grandfather or grandmother or whoever else to live and see their own grand, grandchildren. After the implantable defibrillator went in, you had a particular procedure done to stop your ventricular tachycardia. I think the great almighty have something to do with this, along with Dr. Borden. The procedure that Mr. Harris had done was not just putting an implantable defibrillator. He had an electrocardiac mapping, literally seeing what parts of the heart were electrically abnormal. And then the electrophysiologist was able to go in and with a probe, with a catheter, touch the different parts of his heart with the catheter to wall off and eradicate the focus of his fatal arrhythmias. But the most amazing thing about this is that his source of the arrhythmia was eradicated. And this is a procedure that didn't even exist two, three years ago. I sort of knew that I'm going to do cardiology, and I was probably going to be general cardiologist. And uh, after a month of uh, electrophysiology elective, that was it. I knew it then. This is the best thing to do. If anyone should have a problem like this, mm-hmm. they should see Dr. Bud. Okay. Despite what we think about patients, their health is part of their life. Maybe very critical, but they have their families, they have other preferences for life, and, and if I can uh, make the difference that they can travel somewhere and they feel better and to enjoy their children. I think it uh, it's impacts their life. And the next thing is, I don't know how to thank him. I know he's a great doctor, he's a great person, and he has saved my life. If you make a difference in even one person's life, whatever you do is definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it.